Well, hello there, Scorpio. It is so good to see you. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. Today, we are doing your April Career and Money Tarot reading. So we'll take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the Tarot for more details. And this reading is good for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if the message doesn't resonate here, I encourage you to take a look at your other signs to see if there's a message there for you. All right, let's get into your your reading Scorpio let's see what we have here butterfly spirit transformation is beautiful oh you gotta love that card and unknown territory you are exactly where you need to be okay so I feel like you know it's kind of funny um all the water signs have had similar type of message at the at least at the beginning about you know it it, it could be that you have been doing something for a long time but now you're kind of in a new territory you know you, you're not sure of where you're going or what the next step is, right? But it's only because you're in this very beautiful transformation, um, understanding that something that may be difficult for you at this time is coming to an end and something new is beginning. But sometimes the new things <laughs> are a little bit scary, right? Because they're just unfamiliar. And some, uh, sometimes we think, oh, well, then it's the wrong thing to do. It's not the wrong thing to do. It's just unfamiliar, right? So um, that's just your ego. If you're feeling like, oh, I don't know. I think I'm in the wrong place. You're not in the wrong place. Um, it's just understanding. You're going through a change. You're transforming. You're coming up to a high, ascending to a higher level in your career and money sector, but you're in a new place. And so it just feels unfamiliar to you. Yeah, this is beautiful. New start is coming. Wow. You are very close to achieving your goal. Beautiful energy here. And then the loving woman, which is the empress. So you also have underneath that professional assistance and planning and action, right? I feel like there is perhaps... Um, you know, this sense of, I'm not sure what, what the next step is. And in that case, um, you may want to seek out some professional assistance about how to, you know, take the next step. Um, you're entering a, a something new, right? And there's a learning curve involved. So it may be a great time to ask a mentor, a teacher, um, you know, networking with other people that do something similar that you do or basic or perhaps hiring somebody that knows what they're doing because, oh my gosh, this is just beautiful. Yeah. Um, you know, it really is. It's kind of like I always say that the part where you are right now could be like, you know, that first day of school, <laughs> you know, when you were a kid and it's you're excited. You've got the butterflies in your stomach. You're kind of excited. And yet at the same time, you're anxious. Right. So you could be starting a new business. So you could be starting a new project. You could be wanting to invest in something new. Right. But it's it's you know, it's just kind of like, you know, I taught fourth grade. So so when the students came for the first day of fourth grade, it was kind of like, okay, they're, you're, you know, they were in the same school, but they have a new teacher, they have new classmates, you know, it's a new curriculum, they don't know the fourth grade rules, you know, it's almost like it's that type of energy where you're kind of a little bit excited and yet at the same time could be a little bit anxious because it's just new. It doesn't mean that it's bad, it's just new. And when things are unfamiliar to us, um, our ego wants us to read turn to something that we've already closed out you know you're very close <laughs> to achieving your goal you're you either have completed a cycle or you are about to complete a cycle so let's see what we have here yeah you have the um the honoring path and you have a new start is coming the new moon um beautiful energy understanding that this is almost like you know a special little um we kiss <laughs> a kiss of love from the divine understanding that it is at this time it meaning um a little needing a little bit of your own love of loving yourself of loving this project of loving the new beginning instead of fearing it you know saying okay you know um i always thought it was kind of interesting because when i was a teacher 
the the students on the very first day of school that had older siblings kind of already knew what fourth grade was all about right <laughs> they already knew they you know they kind of ha had they had talked to their older sibling and they kind of knew and it's you know the ones that didn't have an older sibling they came in totally right kind of naive to what was going to happen the, in the new year i feel like it's almost like that right so if you, you know, are coming into something brand new that you maybe have never done before. It really will help you to even seek out, once again, a networking group or, or other people that have done something that is similar to what you have done or hiring somebody that can help walk you through this, right? It's kind of like having an older sibling that tells you what to do. Yeah. So you have two pages. Look at this. I, I think you're you're concerned. Is somebody going to take advantage of me, right? Because you have this page energy. I mean, you have the page of cups, the page of swords, and the page of wands. This is a brand new cycle for you. So you're learning something new. You're excited, perhaps, about it. Your heart is perhaps in it, right? And you're excited about that, this new idea or whatever. And yet at the same time, there's almost this sense, is somebody going to take advantage of me because I am such a newbie? <laughs> you know, um, I'm the new kid on the block. So um, it could be you're starting a new job and you feel like everybody already knows everything at the office or something and you're going to have to ask a lot of questions. Embracing that. It, uh, understanding that part of starting a new cycle is understanding there are going to be new things for you to encounter um, and to embrace that. I really love that energy. You also have the star card and the king of pentacles, you know, just a beautiful healing energy here uh, that will bring you into this grounded energy when you allow yourself to have this transformation, when you allow yourself to step into this new cycle. Um, because this is something that is truly on your path. Beautiful energy. Okay, so let's see what your obstacle is. The answers you need are coming and letting go. Yeah, I feel like you're you're kind of hanging on. Okay, there's a little bit of an energy of hanging on to the past or perhaps in the past somebody may have taken advantage of you, right? But there's these doors that you need to close, Scorpio. You need to realize, okay, I am going in a new direction. There are new projects, new jobs, new careers, new businesses, new people for me to network with. I need to go in this new direction and I need to close some of these doors. It's almost as if, your ego is trying to get you to, you know, um, go back, either go back or just kind of compare the new to the old. And it's almost as if, well, you can't compare them. It's been a total transformation. It would be like trying to compare a caterpillar and a butterfly, right? You've transformed a lot. You are not the same person. And therefore, it's about recognizing, okay, what happened in the past is not for you on your, on your path at this time. It's almost like two completely different chapters of your life. Um, and it is about stepping into your power understanding that when you step into your power it's kind of like you were a caterpillar right and now you are coming out of that cocoon and you are a butterfly ready to fly ready to experience life as a butterfly and not as a as a caterpillar but you have to step into your power you have to start flapping your wings you have to you know get ready to take off <laughs> you have you know to take off and to be able to fly around and not you know a caterpillar basically lives on one bush you know it's entirely life or its entire phase of that life you're getting ready to fly off it's about stepping into your power knowing that this is truly meant to be on your path this is the honoring path it's all up to you though Scorpio it's about you stepping into your power allowing yourself to let go of mindsets of beliefs of you know even habits that hold you back from being a butterfly yeah it's a really beautiful energy. I'm trying to think there there's um a movie that has oh, I think it was yes, it was um 
love affair with Warren Beatty <laughs> and Katherine Hepburn. And Katherine Hepburn has, you know, this um, story that she's telling about, you know, a duck um, and, you know, uh, and a goose <laughs> and the difference, okay, a duck and a goose and, you know, the way that um, a duck, <laughs> right, is, does not stay with the same mate where a goose will stay with the same mate, I think, I think that's the way it was. And, and she was like, you know, he w she was comparing Warren Beatty and saying he's really a goose, but he just thinks he's a duck. You know, well, I think that this is a little bit of you're thinking you're still a caterpillar, but you are ready for more. You are a butterfly. So it's about starting to think like a butterfly, right? <laughs> it's about putting on your butterfly wings and saying, oh, okay, wait a minute. I am a butterfly. Yeah, it's your own fears that are holding you back from being, you know, the king of wands is so confident, inspirational, goes out there, right? And make, makes choices that are good for him. The lover's card is the old tarot choice card. So it's understanding that nobody else is holding you back. You may think that other people are holding you back. The truth of the matter is, is that you're holding yourself back because you're not recognizing the fact that you are now a butterfly and not just a caterpillar, not not just a caterpillar, but <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? You have transformed. It's time to uh, close the, the caterpillar doors and understand, okay, I'm moving forward as a butterfly. What does that look like? What's my plan, right? Where am I going with this now that I'm a butterfly? Wow, beautiful energy. What a huge transformation. Okay, now you have, for your advice from spirit, you have nothing is yet set in stone. You, I, I feel like for some of you, you don't want to be a butterfly yet. There's almost this, no, wait a minute. I, I know how to be a caterpillar. I don't want to go be a butterfly because being a butterfly, I think is bringing you a little bit of anxiety or it's just new. That's the thing you have to recognize. This is just new. It's about having the strength to know, yeah, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do it well. I don't have to worry about it. And it's also about you committing, okay, to this process, to balancing yourself out, to understanding that, okay, I'm moving forward, right? And I'm balancing myself out. I'm stepping back into my loving energy. You know, we have literally the Empress and the Emperor here balancing out your divine feminine and your divine masculine energies. We ha all have both. You could have been for some time in that divine masculine energy. It's about incorporating more of the divine feminine, of allowing yourself to feel the love in the situation. I feel like you're almost closing it out. Yeah, really beautiful. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Oh my goodness, yes. You are at the end of a difficult cycle. Something has come to an end and it's time to open this bright new chapter and you are going to be prosperous. You're moving in a new direction, a new cycle. Either, you know, this is a general reading. Either the new cycle has started or is about to start for you. When you allow it, okay? That's the divine feminine. The divine feminine is allowing. The divine masculine is doing, right? You have to allow this new beginning to come in. You have to accept it with love. <laughs> the Page of Cups is coming back in. And then, you know, the Six of Pentacles, the, the universe, the divine will, you know, this is windfalls coming your way, will balance things out for you. And then you have the Ten of Cups, just beautiful energy. You know, whatever it is, you know, you're very close to achieving your goal and you really and truly are. So this is beautiful energy, Scorpio. Wow, what a beautiful reading. All right, so let's pull um, a final card for more advice for you. And I do do personal readings, Scorpio. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. So let's see what we have. Collaboration. Creative people can be inspired by sharing and stimulating creativity in others. Oh, that's Maggie snoring. <laughs> Maggie, <laughs> she's 
she's just sleeping away over there. Um, okay, so collaboration. Uh, you know, it is kind of interesting because we do have, you know, the empress and the emperor here. It is understanding that, you know, sometimes being around other people, brainstorming ideas, um, you know, just... Um, allowing ourselves to hear new ideas, especially if you're in a new cycle, you know, and you're feeling a little bit <laughs> kind of, you know, uh, concerned or whatever. Networking, finding other people that kind of have already stepped into this new cycle and allowing them to help you as you move forward to kind of calm your fears, calm your anxieties, and kind of embrace that inspiring energy of, okay, this is it. I'm really excited. I'm ready to move forward. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I do wish you so much love and light, and I appreciate all of your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.